Hi friends, this reflection is for the 24th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Have you ever passed the quiz but failed the exam? Well, we kind of see that a little bit in the Gospel of Mark when we have the account where Jesus talks about, well, first he poses the quiz, like he's quizzing his apostles. Who do you say that I am? And of course, he gets all these answers. And then Peter finally says, wait, you're the Christ. And of course, he succeeded. But here's the thing. There was an exam that came afterwards. And of course, this is something that we have to grasp, grasp with as we progress in our spiritual journey. You see, Peter passed the quiz, but there was an exam and he failed it. You see, Christ was talking about what was to come, which was, and we see this a lot in the Gospels, particularly in Mark, in which Jesus foretells what is to come. And of course, it would be his passion, death, and resurrection. But of course, Peter would say, oh, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. He denied it, of course, which was a fail. And Jesus rebukes him because he sensed the presence of Satan. He goes on to talk about what's what should we strive for in our lives, and that is to learn sacrificial love. And that symbol of sacrificial love is seen in every crucifix in the church. You see on there, there's a cross. And then you have Jesus on there. He showed us what love is, sacrificial love. It means you lay down your life for others, as Jesus told them in the Gospel of John. You think how God does, not what you think. In other words, we have to learn to think more of others and less of ourselves. St. Teresa of Calcutta reminds us that the one thing that's important in this world is how we love one another. You may have all these degrees, you may have all this, but what's more important is how we love our neighbor. And she's right. Every time I look at the crucifix, I see how I'm supposed to love. And on that cross, Jesus prayed. He forgave those that trespassed against him. He asked God to forgive. How often have we asked God to forgive people who have done things that were against, against his will? You know, it's fitting because September 14th was the Feast of the Exaltation of the Cross. And Lith High the Cross, a very common uh, the Catholic song, in the refrain, it says, the love of Christ proclaim till all the world know his sacred name. And I think that's something we need to reclaim, but at the same time, proclaim. We have to claim it and then proclaim. We have to claim that Christ is God. Nothing more, nothing less. We also, too, have to ask people, like, I always think of this, too, like, how often do people, you know, say things about you? Like, say, if someone, if you were to ask somebody, like, well, who do you say that I am? And people would say, like, well, you're this or that. But what do you, but who do you say? The key, the key, the key phrase in that question is, who do you say? You know, and oftentimes we get, we get caught up with what everybody's saying. It's kind of like, I would say indirect support of gossip. You know, people like to say this about you, but what do you think? You know, for me, I look at Christ and I see him as someone who is my navigator. And he's navigating me to the path that's going to get me to heaven. It's going to be long, daunting. 
But in the end, it's going to be worth it. Friends, as we navigate this twenty, as we navigate the twenty fourth week of ordinary time, let's take time to give thanks for God's sacrificial love for us, and let's be selfless to others, not selfish. And let's proclaim the love of Christ to everyone, especially those who need to know his sacred name. Are you ready to take up the crosses in your life? The time to do that is now. God bless.